Usually, I like to go to Wellspring School of Allied Health because I love to see their beautiful facility, see what's new, what's exciting, what's happening. But today, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to interview two students of the school to get their first-hand account of what it's like to be a student at Wellspring School of Allied Health. Joining me now is Cheyenne and Matthew, two students. First of all, good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having us. So yes. Cheyenne, tell me about the program that you're involved with at Wellspring. So I'm in the medical assisting program. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing the certification right now. Mm -hmm. um, I started, I chose to go to Wellspring because of the schedule. It's more flexible with my home schedule, mm -hmm. which is crazy. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> <laughs> so I have four kids and I homeschool. So I needed a schedule for me that would work in that schedule and Wellspring does that. Did you even second guess what that schedule would be? Because what you just told me <laughs> seems like it's an impossibility to work out a schedule and go to school. So, Were you surprised with the flexibility? Yes, I was super surprised. Every other school I looked at was all, it was either all in line or it was every day and I just can't do that. Wow, what made you decide to want to go back to school? So I've, I've been in the medical field. My dad's a chiropractor. Mm -hmm. So I kind of grew up in that area. Mm -hmm. um, I left to have my last baby. And I was like, I really, I just want a certificate in my name, like mm -hmm. to show that I can do something. So I decided to go back to school. Cool, and how's your experience been so far? How do you like the school? It's amazing. Yeah, I love, every, every time <laughs> I'm there, I love the, I love everything, the students, the professors, everybody seems yep. so nice and it's like a family atmosphere. For sure. And so Matthew, what, what program are you uh, doing? Uh, I'm in the massage therapy certificate program. Mm -hmm. Now, what made you want to be a massage therapist? Um, <clears throat> so I've always been into to health and wellness um, and just, you know, growing up, experiencing a lot of different jobs, um, just trying to figure out what it is that I wanted to do. Um, working a lot of construction and I was kind of getting regular massage work done on myself um, just because it's a lot of wear and tear on the body. Um, and yeah, it just kind of clicked one day. Um, you know, I'd always been, um, I guess, kind of scared going to school. Um, and so I kind of just took the plunge uh, and you know, decided to, to continue to educate myself. So speaking of, because I think that first step is the scariest, mm -hmm. actually getting online, looking at it, going for a tour and making that first leap. What would you say to somebody who's maybe like contemplating, but very nervous about taking that first step? I say just take the, take, take, take the plunge. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, learning is, is part of you know, falling down, um, continuing to, to move forward and don't let that set you back. Right. Um, you know, fear is a, a big barrier for everyone. So, um, you know, a, a quote that I kind of really live by is, um, you know, comfort creates self-care, um, but discomfort creates self-respect. Oh, wow. Um, so the more, you know, I kind of experience of putting myself in discomfort, mm -hmm. um, you just continually to grow and, um, and evolve, right? Um, and just you know, get more and more confident w in those you know scary times. Yeah, absolutely. And were you scared too, Cheyenne, to take that first leap, or were you confident? Uh, absolutely, I was scared. Mm -hmm. I mean, to try and find a routine of homeschool and my school and kids and life, and it yeah. was nervous. How long is the program that you're you're enrolled in? Um, I believe it's ten months. Mm -hmm. And then after that, what are your future plans? What can you do? Um, I could work in a hospital, I could work in a clinic. I really think I'm just gonna go and work with my dad, he's a mm -hmm. chiropractor. How fun, keeping the family. Yes. That's amazing, and then with you, I know with a massage therapist, there mm -hmm. are so many avenues of what you can do. You can work for somebody else, you can work for yourself. I know Wellspring has a great program to get you on the right road to how to start a business as well because I wouldn't know what to do. What are your future <laughs> plans? Um, so I, I plan to work uh, for myself um, down the road, but I'm looking to, uh, probably get some hands-on experience within the first year, um, just kind of get get an idea on how different uh, businesses, um, you know, run their mm -hmm. business. Um, and yeah, uh, it, it's been nice to get exposure to different um, techniques or modalities. Mm -hmm. um, so they they build a good foundation for you know exposing you to see what avenues you'd like to to pursue. So. Right, and you two are perfect examples of people who've decided to take that next step. Change the course of your life. You never know what's gonna come next and you're a perfect example. So if you're out there and you're thinking, what should I do next? I need a new career. 
Look at these two. These are perfect mm -hmm. examples of what you can do if you just decide to take that first step at Wellspring School of Allied Health. Thank you so much. And for more information, you can always visit uh, all the information at wellspring.edu. And you can. And you can. And you should. You should. Hey, I don't know if I told you this and our viewers as well, but so when I was little, I always wanted to be a pediatrician. Mm. Then I realized, oh, Maddie's not really good with studying and understanding complex things. So then I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll go into sports medicine because I was really active in high school and whatnot. And then I was like, oh, yeah, you're still not good with knowing complex things. <laughs> you should like, be on TV. Not. <laughs> but if I could do it all over again, I think that's a great program to go through and, and kind of see what your options are. Yeah, I find it admirable when younger people know exactly what they want to do. Yeah. And up to do that but here's the thing I like Wellspring because here's the thing when you become an adult sometimes you're like oh I sh really shouldn't be doing this I should be doing this or this or this yeah and they have great programs that can help you achieve your goal and it doesn't matter what stage you are in life right don't think because you're over 30 or over 40 or what you know yeah over 50 if, if you're working your nine to five and you come home miserable every day and you want to change your career do it and then I also love the flexible uh, hours and programs and you kind of do it on your own time but within yeah that, you know, time frame they give you, so. You have so many great options, guys, so check out wellspring.edu for more information, and your new career path could be changing, just like could. that. You better not change on me, though. I'm not, I'm staying.